In this video, we're going to review the process of revaluing inventory. In this example, we have item 1928-S, the Amsterdam lamp. We currently have three units on hand at a unit cost of $42.80. If I click on the ledger entries and sort by remaining quantity, we can see that these three units were purchased on March 28, 2016, and the total current value of these three units is $128.40. Let's say we need to revalue these three units to be reflected in inventory at an even $50 each, or $150. What we'll do is up on the ribbon from the item list, select Revaluation Journal. The posting date defines the effective date of the revaluation. However, we don't want to manually create the row. We're going to select Calculate Inventory Value. And here what we'll do is we'll select, we'll enter a document number or a unique number associated with this transaction. We'll also select the specific item number that we would like to revalue. In this case, we're going to select the Amsterdam lamp. However, you could revalue a whole range of items or a whole class of items at the same time. By clicking OK, the system automatically creates the revaluation entry for me and pulls in the current value. All I need to do is select the revalued current cost that I would like to set this to. In this case, we're going to revalue the item to $50 each or a total inventory value of $150. The total adjustment amount is $21.60. By clicking Post, we will we'll make this change in the system. The journal lines were successfully posted. Let's close the revaluation journal, go back and look at the Amsterdam lamp on the list. 